and girls welcome back to my channel my name is Piper and today I'm not feeling so great today but I wanted to knock this video out it's been sitting around to be completed for I don't know seven months and I've just added to it so I think this is going to be the only one that I'm going to do like this to complete and it is my review of all things empty why because I'm over full now all right, boys and girls, so today, um, I hope you don't mind my cough. I have this cough going on right now, and it's really annoying, and it had to do with the way I took my medicine, which was stupid, because it's cough medicine, and yet I'm coughing now. So I want to knock this out. It is the massive review part two of all my empties, and some of y'all made it through that really long video, and hopefully, this one will not be that long. So with that said, just not at all over myself. <sighs> Hopefully we go through this pretty fast because I ain't got all day and I got this cough and we want to move on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video because I have talked long enough and I keep wanting to cough. First thing I'm going to talk about is Pixie. I have had Pixie's products for like years now and I am in love with this Milky Mist. I don't know if any of y'all have used it before but holy bejesus I absolutely love it. It is hydrating Milky Mist with hyaluronic acid and black oat and it says youth preserving mist. I don't know about that but it's paraben free and they don't test on animals and I absolutely adore it. Now the very first time I bought this when I heard a $15 price tag on it but <laughs> What are you talking about? But what I will tell you is the best $15 and it is awesome for setting all of the powders on your face and hydrating you. Um, I have a tendency to be normal to dry skin, but I can't stand anything oily on my skin. So even if I put foundation on, I always have powder up on powder on pot powder and then I have a lot of powder. But when I use this and a setting spray together, sometimes the setting spray but this it usually soaks it in and I become gorgeous I tell you I'll just absolutely gorgeous I don't know like a goddess it's fucking awesome I love it so I would highly recommend if you want to try any of their mists this one and the wait a second it's in here and the glow mist which is with propolis and argan oil it is a nourishing mist this one has oil in it and I don't know what else is in it what does it say it hydrates protects and nourishes la, la, la. enriched with 21 natural oils aloe vera and fruit extracts and all the other stuff I said the other one says added black oat with vitamin pro vitamin a linoleic acid I probably murdered that and vitamins B1, B2, and B6 make it the ultimate remedy for thirsty skin. So these two I usually kind of cycle through. This one, of course, because there are oils, I don't do it all the time. I tend to gravitate towards this one more, though. But during the winter, this one is amazeballs. Speaking of Pixie, by the way, the Glow Tonic, this sucker right here, I uh, completed this little one. It is 5% glyconic, glycolic acid. And um, I really like it. I like the way it smells and it really takes the oils out of your skin and exfoliates your skin like a good tonic toner should do. And it smells so good. But it is very good at stripping whatever crap you have on your face. Um, but it is also soft enough you can use it on your eyelids and you don't burn or anything like that. Don't touch your eye with it. I don't recommend. But I, after I use my cleanser, I do actually put this over my eye and it takes off all the rest of the residue of makeup that I possibly have on my face and absolutely love it. Now, I didn't buy it all the time because it is, again, a little expensive. But since I went back to toner, since I have this discoloration since I'm aging yay and in the sun um, I will tell you that you have to be careful to when you get back in the sun again because from my understanding it can make you more sensitive that's any hyaluronic acid products but this one is a low percentage 
but it's very good. I really, really, really like this one and I highly recommend it. Um, again, a little on the more higher side, but totally worth it. It lasts forever. Ugh. And I did buy some of their makeup, some of their um, eyeshadows just recently. And I tried, like I bought three of their eyeshadow sets. I tried two of them and I gave them those two, which are identical. There was a matte version and of like a rosy col colors and very neutral, like a neutral pink. And then the other one is exact same, but glitter, like shimmery colors. But I gave it to a friend of mine and I have photos and things like that. If you want to see those things or if you're curious about it, it is very, very, very light. And I gave it to my friend because I am not a light type of natural kind of girl. If I want to go natural, that means nothing, but whatever. Um, so if you really want to see that, then I can show you some of that. There is a black and white kind of grayish palette that I have, and I can show you about that too if you're really curious about it. Other than that, um, I wouldn't recommend their eyeshadows for someone who needs a high pigmented pop. But if you are very natural and want something very soft, oh my goodness, they're perfect for that. So, moving on. Next thing that I have is this Belif. Is that what you say? Belif? Belif? Is a True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And I have since then repurchased this. And then after I repurchased, I ended up getting another one of these um, in one of my bags. And I absolutely adore it. It smells like poopery. And I've said it before in my last video, I believe, uh, my massive haul. And here it is again, another empty. And I don't know why I'm reviewing it again, but um, I love it. This, it, it smells like the lemon scent poopery. And that is the weirdest thing to say, but I would just sit here and sniff it all day. I love lemons. I love, oh my gosh, there's still some in here. Okay, look at that. I don't want to be wasteful. Let's. Let's put this on my dry skin. And it is so very creamy and soft, but it's like, it almost feels water-based, so therefore you don't, it hydrates really well, but it's not so water-based that it doesn't hydrate. You know, the you know a lot of water-based products that they actually take more water, more moisture out of your skin, this one is not one of those. It definitely is a, feels like a water-based product that is, and it really is, that is very moisturizing. And I, oh, I love it. It almost reminds me of once, you know, ladies, once you clean your house with like the, my mom used to use, what is that? It's not Pine Sol. It's um, Pledge, the Pledge. It smells so good. It's just absolutely amazing. So I can't say enough about these products. I have since then purchased the travel kit with this that has the eye stuff and eye stuff. This is a horrible review. I'm so bad at this. Anyway, I got the travel set. There's a Hungarian water, which I think is kind of like a tonic. And then they have a tonic and then there's an eye cream. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Then there's some of this. There's a cleanser and I believe, and there was a serum. And I love this brand. I absolutely love this brand. I, I feel moisturized, but not sticky and gross right before I go to bed when I use it. I'm not a big eye cream needing kind of person. I don't get poofy or whatever, but I put that stuff all over my face. It's just awesome. I feel like I'm spitting everywhere. Anyway. Highly recommend anything this brand so far. I have really, really loved. So, shout out to y'all. Anywho, moving on. Wet and Wild <sighs> setting spray. <sighs> Why did I smell it? It's horrible. It smells so bad. But it also smells like that stuff is still stuck to your face. <laughs> That's exactly what it's supposed to be doing. This is the Photo Focus setting spray. I'm sure you hear it on all the tech channels. And I am saying this again, mostly because I have a matte one, the matte version of this, and it doesn't smell like this. And I actually like the matte version too. Um, 
doesn't stink like this though. This is so bad. Anyway, moving on. But if you are trying to stay on the cheaper version, Wet n Wild stuff is, even though it's cheap and, you know, financially if people can afford it, their stuff is really good. It can, a lot of their stuff is, they're, like, they're up in their game lately. I mean, they come in after these big companies. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So another thing I wanted to talk about is my Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant right here um intensive night cream I'm, now i do finish them all i will tell you that this does remind me when i run an oatmeal bath and it smells amazing but i don't think it really does anything for my face and i love y'all like vino i really do especially if you ever have hives or anything like that if you know products are really 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 they smell nice they smell natural. They smell absolutely amazing. And even though this says total soy complex, a lot of times when people hear soy, they think that that is not natural. And there, there is natural. That's not GMO soy. But anyway, I actually really do like most of their products. This one has vitamin B3 in it. But I'm not going to repurchase this. I feel like I just kind of rushed myself to finish using it because I wouldn't go back to it. I kept... I kept going to other things and I don't feel like it really did anything so sorry y'all I don't recommend that okay this Clinique rinse off foaming cleanser mousse I remember it showing up in our house when I don't know it was like 2004 or something this right here and I've had it for like the longest it's, it can't have been that far back but I've had it for like the longest and I finally did get to use it since I've been, you know, into skincare lately. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. A little goes a long way. I kind of messed up one time and I use way too much. Oh my God. But it takes everything off. Um, and I, I don't like the idea of the other jars where you, and you put the oil on your face to take your makeup off that take your, take the day off. That's like not my kind of thing. I'm sure it works because if that is kind of made by you know anything like this and this is the same company then it'll be freaking awesome i haven't tried the other stuff though um and I, I probably won't i'm not gonna lie but this is amazing i'm totally going to be repurchasing this for a makeup remover it is definitely a good cleanser and this one's for normal skin and it is very soapy and very bubbly and very you feel like you're having a spa day and it smells so clean and refreshing when you're done and it's awesome now I've since then repurchased this and um, a one two three step of skincare from Clinique and I don't use the lotion for my face so but I like their toner and I like their cleansers those are the two things I really like but I'm not down for the lotion on my face it's not the same as all my other stuff that I have but I still love the line um, with that said, moving on. Okie dokie. Something else that I was really into for a while, uh, when I got it in one of my bags, which is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And this one is the original Mineral Veil. It is, yeah, that's it. Um, it's a little bitty sample pot and it's like a pinky beige color. And at first I thought this would be perfect because it did work, but... When I begin my setting powder, I begin underneath my eyes and it just almost made me darker. But it still, once I put it on the rest of my face, it actually worked really well. I think it was the oxidation with the under eye concealer that I was using at the time. It has not done it the last time I used this just before I finished it up. And it is very, very, very nice. But, no, I can't say but. I almost repurchased until I've actually tried the number one setting powder everybody talks about and I started figuring out how to use my elf and since then I don't need to repurchase this I think I'm pretty good but other than that if you really like bare minerals and you like things like that this is very very nice it is very nice so I might want to check it out moving on I have the makeup forever professional Paris excessive lash this little thing here I kept it because I like the wand here. 
I mean, I like the size. It works for my itty bitty eyes. But I wasn't a fan of the mascara. Mostly because when I got it, it was almost like nothing in here. And a little goopy. I think maybe if it was a little bit more runny, like most mascaras are when you first get them, it might have been a better. But I won't be repurchasing this because I didn't really get the full... I don't think I got the really full idea of this product but I, I don't really like it the wand reminds me of a wet and wild pro no an elf product I have okay the fresh rose floral toner infused with soothing rose water hydrates and refreshes this stuff right here is really 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 nice I like it but I don't do I feel like it tones my skin absolutely not do I like it on my skin would I use it if I ever got it again? Absolutely. Would I re go out and repurchase it as a toner? No. But it smells wonderful and it feels really good on your on your face. So if you're up for that, then here's your thing. I had this for the longest and it took me forever to get through it. And I think I finally quit on it. It is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. You have to be careful when you get these because it's half of the time it's like, is there anything in there? And it's supposed to be like your primer for your eye shadows and I find their stick, their concealer stick since then has done much better for me. I don't recommend this one, but get the concealer stick. Okay, so another one is the Milk Makeup. I got to try the blur stick. This was months and months ago and it was to the point where I was digging into it, if you can kind of see. And I really liked how it did blur out my face. It was really good. I figured out how to use it before I did everything else. That was before I started doing my moisturizer. And I really, really like this, but I couldn't fathom repurchasing for the price since then. But I liked it. And I remember keep going on the page and going, I should buy. I can't. I should buy. I can't. But it lasts forever. I'm sure if I did repurchase, it would last forever because I gave up on this. I feel like I shouldn't have though. It was sad for me to put this in this bag. Moving on though, it's neither here nor there. Next thing I have is this Aurora um, Pro Cover Up Concealer in Pale from Ipsy. And eh, I don't know who's using these concealers, but it's not me. I mean, you can clearly tell this thing is still pretty full. And I just don't, I don't even want to put it I don't feel like it does what it's supposed to. It creases, it... Eh. But maybe that was because I wasn't using the right setting powder back then. Or at all, no, I don't remember. But maybe I should try this again. No, I have my favorites. Okay, moving on. I really need to talk about this. This Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This one I got to try, clearly. And it is 115R230. And I will tell you that I love this foundation. It is good coverage, not high coverage, and like freaking amazeballs. It was not super greasy. It covered really well, it lasted very long. I felt like my face could still breathe but I was getting good coverage too. And I actually repurchased, or, or I purchased this and they sent me everything but the foundation and they didn't have it at that time after they were supposed to send it again. So I just gave up and I've since then been trying other things that I like. And I also like their sticks recently. That's what's on my face now. I've been using their sticks and highly recommend it. I mean, I love, 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 love it. But then it's either a love or hate. I hear the opposites. It, it just, ma I'm in Texas, so it's hot as hell. I need something that breathes. This works. Just saying. So highly recommend. Uh, okay. So there's this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I don't know if this is just me, but I find that I don't like much tart. I really don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I feel like their shadows don't stay on. Um, even though I have their Rainforest of the Sea 2 palette, which can be great. It's 
not my thing. Most of the colors are all the same colors. I did like some of their paint pots, which were really awesome. The ones at Christmas time. And I didn't get to purchase the red one. I just, I got distracted with other glittery things in the store. So I didn't actually purchase that, even though I really loved it. Um, but $20 for one pot is a lot. Um, this didn't take my makeup off. So no. I don't have much to say about it. It's nice, smells nice, doesn't work. Okay, recently I got this Tatcha Harper. Uh, I can't read it. It is, oh my God, am I blind? Next Generation Beauty Face Rejuvenating Serum. It is empty and I really liked this. It smells amazing, but and it smells clean like you're in a spa, but I don't know if it did anything to my face. It just felt really good to use it. But I, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things like I like it, but does it really work? I don't know. But that's a lot about a lot of things. So, but since then I have fell in love with some other products and I'm not going to repurchase this, but I want to try some more of Tatcha Harper. I've tried a couple of things and I really do like it. I just don't know long-term use how it helps and it I mean isn't there stuff like organic or natural and yeah natural alchemy whatever so it's all natural products and I love that. I'm down for that. Moving on. Speaking of a product that sounds natural but it's not. Um, the Origins Dr. Andrew Whale, is that how you say it? Mega Mushroom Skin Relief. This is the Advanced Face Serum. This little thing, I got a little, it was in one of my packages to try out. And I actually really like this. I, when I was dealing with my allergies, this actually helped my face feel so much better and it took the redness away and I liked that. It smells so good. I love the smell of it. I don't know what my deal is with it. It's like mushrooms that kind of mushroom. All right. Last year I got to try the Genifique by Lancome, this youth activating concentrate in these little tiny bottles. I don't know what the hell this does, but I know everybody's raving about it and it's super expensive. I don't know what it did. Maybe you need to, I don't know why they give these little samples, I guess to try it out, but you don't really know if it works unless you've been using it for a couple months or so but I got tons of these samples and I didn't notice any difference so I'm not gonna repurchase that purchase that either and I'm kind of glad it's expensive the origins original skin is this the essence lotion which is a toner really basically it's in this little bitty bottle can you read it um, I liked this I really did like this it was nice but I don't, and it smells really good. The Willow, what is that? It's the pink version of their stuff, but um, the pink colors. <laughs> it's like Willow Wood or Willow Herb or Willow something, I don't know. It smells amazing. But I mean, I have other toners that I, I like better. So nothing against this, but if push come to shove that I just really wanted to clear my skin and feel how amazing and smelly good this is, I would repurchase, but I'm not going to. Okay, next thing is the Origins A Perfect World SPF 40. I've since then bought a large, there. I bought a large jar that's like, you know, a big jar, and I'm almost done with it. It is what I use every day when I, before I put my makeup on. Um, well, after I put my eyes on and when I'm putting my foundation on, it goes on first. It is greasy, I will tell you, and it does feel like sunscreen on your face and it doesn't breathe really well and it's kind of, I'm not really selling now, am I? Not like I have to, but it does make me feel like there's sunscreen on my face and I just want to scratch at it. But if you put makeup on like most of us do, then you know you're gonna put foundation on top of this and then you'll have powder and it sets it and then it does not, absolutely does not feel like you're wearing um, suntan lotion or anything like that. It mixes and goes very well with all of your foundations and it 
just is absolutely flawless and ever since I bought this and I've been using it under my foundations my skin has not gotten worse with these little wrinkles from sun damage which I hate by the way but it has kept my skin from getting worse and I will tell you when I had gotten I sat outside for three hours with a client and I got sunburnt on my arms but my face did not get sunburned and I had this on so highly highly recommend this is a age defensive moisturizer with white tea it smells absolutely amazing and yeah and by the way if you don't know the foundation and foundations that have SPF in them you don't get enough SPF to really protect your skin from what you need so you need one so go get it all right the gimme brow benefit this little little sample I had before it's so tiny um you can get cheaper things that work just like this I'm not a I mean I don't know. and y'all know I love my brow gal that's that's just the shit right now I am using um the it cosmetics on my eyebrows currently and I love it it's the pencil all right the next thing from origins again is three-part harmony this one is more expensive than the other ones it is a nourishing cream with renewal repair radiance and it is oh my god I don't understand why it's more expensive than other ones but it smells amazing I just want to sniff it all day and it on it just if you've ever gotten the ginseng ones from the same company it smells just like the orange fresh oranges and vitamin C and is absolutely amazing and especially during the winter months this stuff is super hydrating but it's not greasy it your skin just goes I love you oh oh smells good is good feels like spa you're what oh it wakes you up in the morning and <laughs> it's just the awesome smell of no on your face before you're going to bed so highly recommend this one it is not cheap though but totally worth it um, I was really excited every time I buy from origins I end up getting some of that and I'm like yes. anyway moving on okay so another one hey honey come undone a eye and face daily makeup remover this one was in my, in my ipsy bag if you can see what it is and I do like the company hey honey I love that they use organic honey and things like that in their products but this didn't work at all zero 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 unless you wear like minimal makeup this would be the one for you sorry it smells good though okay what's next oh did I talk about my superhero uh, mascara before in the past in my last one I think I did but um, y'all know I love my wet n wild fiber lashes which is eight or nine dollars but I didn't use the fiber part of them and I also have a new favorite mascara it's the colossal by Maybelline really really love that don't recommend the waterproof one because you can never take that shit off um, but this is the superhero one by it cosmetics and even though it is a pricey one it's the first time I ever felt like I would be willing to pay $20 for a whole large one I didn't repurchase a large one I repurchased a small one and I got a bad one it didn't have a lot in it but anyway um, highly recommend but is the same as the wet n wild to me and I love them both I love them both so this was ten dollars and the wet n wild one is nine but I don't use the fiber lashes so anyway neither here nor there totally recommend this though okay. moving on a mint pear collagen serum regenerate and restore this was something I got from my ipsy bag I believe and it's supposed to be like a serum for your face to moisturize and it smells really good it feels really good but I don't think it did anything and <laughs> yeah I just repurchased it because of the smell it's amazing but it didn't anyway moving on this was another one I got in my ipsy bag is the Clinique high impact mascara in black 
and then it has the lash building primer on the other side you're gonna see that I did actually use it see um, the primer is nice it's not necessary did I like the mascara sure diddly did do I think I'm going to repurchase no why I don't like the wand it's a little large but I did like it I just feel like it was a little too thin for me starting out on my lashes and it took several times to build it up but it is a good one if you want a two-sided one you need the primer for this one for this to work really well the primer has to dry before you use this for it to really give you some depth that you want all right so i don't have no idea how to spell it say this fbc murdered it i'm sure this one is supposed to be a restorative toner. It was the first toner I was really messing with. And it feels like the consistency is not like a regular toner. It's almost like a creamy, watery. It's weird to explain. It's weird to explain. It's hard to explain. I didn't like it. So not going to repurchase. It's just weird. It's just really weird. I talked about these before. These anti-frizz sheets. I didn't even use this one. Like... I have curly hair so I get the frizziness so you're supposed to take these with you and I guess it might work if you had short hair or whatever but oh this one's more wet than the last two I had but I don't see how this is supposed to what? this has been sitting in here forever okay so <laughs> you're supposed to run it through your hair and it's just it doesn't I don't understand I don't I don't I get the point I don't understand it because it's based off of water and water just makes me more frizzy so whatever moving on the Hana Lei aloe soothing gel for your face and body this stuff is from my understanding from Hawaii and they don't have a lot of stuff from their line and it feels really nice it's again like a like a watery creamy consistency not I know it's a thicker it's not thick though like it's hard to explain it's like a, it's when you hear serum I don't know it's not watery it's a little bit thicker than that and it is very nice it moisturizes your skin really easily really fast and it's really thin but it's not like a moisturizer it's weird um, I thought about repurchasing it until I uh, realized all the other stuff but I couldn't afford it at the time and I've since then kind of moved on and I have a favorite moisturizer now so I won't repurchase this but it was totally worth it at the time um, to do it at the time but I couldn't afford it all right this what is this Madame CJ Walker beauty culture scalp and strand nourishing dream come true wonderful deep conditioning mask hydrating and conditioning Ugh. it smells like grapes Oh, it smells so good. I remember saying, okay, where do I get some more of this stuff? Because it smells amazing. <laughs> but, but I didn't have enough for my hair. So I don't, I don't know if this actually works very well. It kind of dried me out a little bit. But it smells so good. If it can just have some more of that. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, this is another Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Coffee Sugar Body Scrub. What's that said? Smooths, exfoliates, nourishes, and deeply moisturizes. This is made with coffee. And you put it on your body. And it's an exfoliator. And it's weird. Really, really weird. And you have to be careful because if it stays in the bottom of your bathtub by any means and you don't know it's there and you take a bath, guess where these little beads go? It's like having sand in your mama. Anyway, um... It's funny, I thought I saw my my signature in the back. Jennifer Yin. But her signature looks just like mine. That's funny. Anyway, highly, highly, highly recommend this. Except for, you know, don't take a bath after the shower before. With, yeah, don't do that. But I have already repurchased this, and I really, really, really like it. Totally cool. I bet you I could make it. But anyway, highly recommend. I only have a few things left. <laughs> Look, I have some more anti-frizz sheets. Who needs those? Um, this is the Shadow Box, the Smash Box Lid Primer. 
and it is a white one. This one was the white one and I had the black one. The black one actually I put it on my hand <laughs> and it's a primer for your eyelids and it's supposed to make your eyes pop in a different way and this one sucked. It's the white one and I, it just made everything creasing and it was horrible. The black one I wasn't going to use but I didn't want to throw it away without trying it and I put it on the back of my hand and I tried it out and it actually does make things pop really good. Now I don't know about creasing but I really wasn't wanting to try the black one after I tried this one because I wasn't impressed. So, sorry Smashbox, I do like y'all though. Um, the last three things. We have made it to the end. We have made it to the end. Almost. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, so First Aid Beauty. I know you've seen it. I know you've went in Sephora. I know you have considered buying it. This one is the Face Cleanser. If you haven't had a Nipsey bag, I'm sure you had this in there. I think I'm getting it again this month. And the cleanser is not my favorite, but I like it. It is one of the closest cleansers to the Clinique one. And I really like it. I really do like that. But it doesn't completely take off all my makeup like the Clinique one though. So wah wah on the cleanser. On the cleanser. Just the cleanser. This is, however, this is my favorite. I love it. What is this, you ask? Well, I tried some of the um, Intense Hydration Moisturizer, uh, I believe at Christmas, and oh my god, it was so awesome. I had to try some more things of their whatever. So we had a little, blah, blah, blah. so they sent, and well, I think it was Ipsy, I think Ipsy is the one that sent it over like a size like this for you to try out of their moisturizer and absolutely fell in love with it. This was around the holidays and it hydrated my skin so well and it didn't feel oily because I'm really picky about it. So if I do use moisturizer or lotion, I do not like my palms to touch the lotion. I have to like do weird things like that. And this does do like that for normal, but Oh, I don't even care. It smells so good and it's not as oily as everything else until you do like if you put it all over your body then yes your hands are gonna be oily but it's your skin loves it or at least mine does so I wanted to pick up the double stack see there's a little one right there do you see it right there this one is the original I think it's vanilla I believe I have not used it all yet because I was too in love with this one this one can you see empathy mm -hmm. yeah this is the grapefruit one and when I first heard grapefruit I'm like I don't know if I can want the grapefruit one. what are you talking about open it up and I'm like Ugh. I think I'm just gonna can I crawl in here it's amazing Ugh. so again it's by first aid beauty this is just the weirdest thing to say pink grapefruit because I hate the way it tastes grapefruit tastes I don't eat the moisturizer just so you know I hate the way grapefruits taste, but it smells so crisp and clean and just, it's like when you, when you smell the citrus from all of the ginsengs and stuff like that and whatever, and like the vitamin C, that's what this does. Exactly kind of like their, their little thing there. Anyway, it says it has col collodial oatmeal, 0.50%. Skin protectant temporarily protects and helps relieve minor skin irritation and itching due to eczema, rashes, poison ivy, oak and sumac, and insect bites. Now that's for that, but it's amazing for moisturizing. And I have kind of sensitive skin lately, and I can turn really red real fast, and this is absolutely amazing. Do not get into eyes. Yeah, don't do that. And yeah, so if you notice... The little one right there, that's the vanilla. But look underneath it. Do you see it peeking out right there? I bought the big one. It's like this big. It's right there. I bought it. I love it. I love it. I am obsessed with First Aid Beauty for sure already. Just because of those things. And I would love to end at that note, but I have one more thing. And I left it to last because it's the weirdest, weirdest thing I've ever tried. Smells the oddest thing I've ever tried. Smelled. And I also really like it. But when I went to repurchase, 
it scared the shit out of me so I didn't <laughs> and I've since then found serums that I love but so I did not repurchase this one but if I wanted to go balls to the wall I would I actually started loving this underneath my makeup it is this little saffron what is that Coors golden crocus ageless saffron elixir does it work not a flipping clue um, little bitty thing right here and it smells like saffron and even when you put on put it on you're like oh that's too much and then you go oh it smells good I don't it's the weirdest and oddest thing ever and I want it more so I kept it because I need a reminder always but I don't know I would highly recommend do I feel like it actually did anything to my face no but I felt like I I felt I don't know I I felt better I felt classy I guess that's the word I'm looking for classy please don't mind the teeth either because I work basically sitting at Starbucks all day with clients and uh, yeah mama needs to brighten her teeth so with that said I'm done that's all we wrote day mo day no mo have a wonderful evening morning afternoon whatever you're having have it it's wonderful i would like for you to like and subscribe if you like me you like my quirkiness i'll talk to you later bye i think they gave me like six of these this shit was for a long time ago man i need to get on the ball my shit is behind